do my long of shiny hello uh, hey guys hey darlings hey baby doll <laughs> as in ish i promised myself to make things up happy like i need to stop i need to stop honestly <laughs> anyway guys welcome back to my channel guys thank you so much for clicking that play button if you're new year here welcome to the fam for those who've been with me all the time hey welcome back <laughs> don't forget to like subscribe share press what that you've got that <laughs> so yeah guys ah man i'm so mad i'm so mad let me just start with guys i need help with editing vloggers out there um, i need help with editing from moving content from my camera to my laptop to youtube guys it's a hassle two weeks ago i had three videos in a week guys a whole me three videos in one week editing they, yo it's like i'm stressed out so i just have to do this video and explain to you guys what's been happening in my life right so i do have a list okay let me put my phone down i have a list though i think i remember okay basically today what i wanted to share with you guys is you guys have been with me through this journey since i got back from the united states since i got back home you guys are wondering what's been happening um who i've met with what I've, what i've been doing people who follow me on social media know who i've been out and about so now i am taking a seat back guys i am chilling it's been a month it's been great well not so great but yes so um i'm just gonna recap on i'd rather just start um the topic of my mom right so you guys know uh when i left in 2016 right i lost my mom i hope this will sound the sound will be perfect sorry guys there's noise outside it's next door is sporty so gassy you know anyway so you guys know i lost my mom in 2016 on the 12th of february and December the same year I left went to the United States and I've been struggling not really but I've been on the journey of healing right so when I came back or rather before I came back I knew Uti my first month what I want to do is focus on healing and I'm not saying Uti I was giving myself a time frame Uti in a month i should be okay no guys it's hard it is very hard but i've opened up that space in my mind in my heart to deal with it you know and not run away from it so first week when i got here i got here on a thursday the friday i went to go see her i went to go visit her in my twin evening. it was hard i think it like it was hard because it's like yo i don't believe you're, you're laying here you know I, I can't i like it's unbelievable but at the end of the day this is god's plan right so i've tried to go to places which remind me of my mom see people who remind me of my mom uh do things that remind me of my mom and um eat the food my mom used to love or used to prepare for me or whatever so i remember um my first week when i got here i went out with my cousin we went to campus square we went to woolworths and that's the thing C certain things i don't even plan on ne? they would just happen so we went to campus square went to woolworths store when we got in the smell the scent of the shop guys just reminded me of my mom like my mom and I used to go to Woolworths so many times. Yo, so many times. So as soon as I walked in, like I could see her, you know, and everything just came back and it was <sighs> okay. Keep it together, right? Keep it together. But talk about it. So I shared it with my cousin. I'm like, yo, this reminds me of TMB, you know? It was a bit emotional. I don't wanna lie, it was emotional. 
and then number two i uh, those who were who attended the funeral know Uti Uma Mamu Pumele in my room outside so i have ne not slept there since that day right so since the funeral i have never slept in my room so what happened then was i was like you know what let me sleep here tonight so this was like a week, few weeks ago like let me sleep here and yeah i did take a video while i was talking to corey and i was so emotional guys like i even forgot that i was recording uh the conversation or whatever was happening but as soon as i walked in like everything just came back like i could see people moving in my bed they're moving my couches out i could see people coming but you know i could see my grand and aunt sitting down there my trasini you know i even had um a memory of the choir coming but you know i could see i think one thing that really hit me was the day before the funeral when she came to the house i could see like everything and i'm talking to you to you guys man and i can still see it you know and man i'm even talking about it yeah i'm a it, young teen but i'm not even crying about it you know but that day like when i saw everything I couldn't and I told myself I was like in Bali this is not the time to be strong you know you don't owe owe it, owe it to anyone to be strong you know Kala Sisi Kala darling and this is the start this is a start you're opening up you know if it feel it feels like putting salt over a wound you know and I was like let it be let it be if this is a journey of healing let it be so guys i cried i cried like i could see everything i like from day one till the last day you know but eventually i slept and woke up the next morning okay cool you know and then the next oh, thing sorry guys to disturb you because uh it really wants her room back <laughs> I'm using her room to record yesterday. I want to sleep. Oh, listen to this bundle of joy. Come in, darling. I need to move this. <laughs> I need to move that. Hey. Hey, Cece. How are you, Cece? I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay, as I was saying, guys, okay, let's just position this back so yeah and then the next day it was like okay i feel better you know i feel better and then number three uh i met up with my stepdad guys it was like he was seeing my mom all over again he was crying he was saying all sorts of things you know and that also took me back to like that day even like seeing him it's like yo i'm used to seeing you with her you know and i mean i guess i didn't give myself enough time to get used to the idea which okay now i'm only gonna see him alone you know that was also uh, something i went through another thing was yesterday i went to go visit my friend <laughs> sorry guys i went to go visit a friend of mine on dogos or so Back in the days, my mom and I used to stay Gabon Dogos or Eroville. And I hadn't been there since we moved out with my mom. And then I went there yesterday. Yo, guys. Like, as much as when I was when I was with Undogos and everyone there, I mean, I had to be strong, yeah. But, like, every corner of that yard, every corner of the house reminded me of my mom you know and today like so everything that's been happening i feel like it had to happen you know um i had to go through all these things i had to go see my stepdad i had to go see go to woods i had to sleep in my room i had i had to do all those things you know because I've been a, I've been running away for, from those things and that is one thing that messed me up emotionally you know because I did not deal with it 
you guys know Wuti, I wouldn't even uh, sit next to the camera and talk about it without even crying, you know. And I'm not saying I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. No, I'm okay. I'm on the journey of healing. I'm allowing myself to heal. I'm allowing myself to feel, you know. And with the fact Wuti, this month, whole, like on the 12th of February is the day she passed, you know. That's when I'm like, okay, okay. How do we deal with certain things, you know? And I'm not even planning what's okay, Sasa. I think I'm gonna cry about it. No, 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 no. Th things just happen. And I'm proud of myself for how I'm dealing with my loss. You know, like I'm dealing with it alone. Like I'm not even uh, putting anyone under pressure about it. I'm not, like I'm just dealing with it as the adult I am, I guess. So, yeah it's been a it's been a journey it's been a journey it's only starting so thank you guys everyone is just staring at me now <laughs> but yeah that is one thing i wanted to share with you guys and thank you guys for all the support you like all the messages i keep getting especially with regards to this like you guys have i have a family outside my family that makes me feel blessed and grateful so yeah guys thank you you guys have a blessed week i love you bye don't forget to subscribe like and share okay i said i'm gonna stop this <laughs> okay bye